Hi, Randy Sullivan here, Florida Baseball Army. Savage training is all about training movement and not mechanics. Instead of focusing on an infinite number of mechanical details, we zoom out and we lock in on these universal movement attractors that are common to every movement in sport. One of the most important ones is keeping your head still. When you're under time pressure, the only thing that can influence the way you move is the sensory information you gather as you move. When your head's moving around, you're getting lousy information. Now this is a circular arrangement. If you're able to stabilize all the other eight attractors that come before it, you tend to keep your head still. And if you keep your head still, you tend to stabilize all the other attractors, which makes number nine, both a universal movement attractor and a mechanical indicator. Birds of prey keep their head still. You can see here that cheetah, the fastest land animal in the world, when he runs, he keeps his head really still. And the cheetah of pitching of our generation, Jake DeGrom keeps its head really still too. When you don't keep your head still, it tends to disrupt the sensory information, and oftentimes it's the result of overcooking your mechanics. Ben Weber, one of our star clients from Minnesota, he's headed to Air Force Academy next year. Two years ago, when he was grunting and starting to throw 82 to 84, really overcooking the back leg, the knee goes first, and it's not a hinge but a sit, and he has to jump out of it and then watch his head yank laterally right here. Here we have two years later, when he's sitting 90, 92, command much improved, elbow pain gone, it's just like we look at a hitter, the head should remain on plane. So he's really overcooking the back leg here, trying to get too much. So we draw a line from the depth of his load down the slope of the mound. You're going to see that because he tried to get too deep, he has to jump out of it. And now he has this little head bobbing up and down like this. It'd be just like a 2-0 pitch on a hitter and the hitter jumps up. Now he realized I don't have to get as deep. The depth is irrelevant as long as I click the hinge. And then when we get to the depth of his load right here, we draw a line down the mound and you'll see that his eyes stay on plane. So command's better, velocity's better, efficiency's better, arm pain is gone, 1992, headed to Air Force Academy again. Thank you for your service, Ben. So the take home message is, if you wanna throw hard, safe, and accurate, move efficiently so you can keep your head still, and then keep your head still so that you'll move efficiently.